Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Can you ball crawfish, cook jambalaya, steaks or cracklings? Well, you need to get out to the Dreams Come True South Louisiana Crawfish Festival for all the cook-offs. It's April the 25th at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Music for all ages with a car show, craft booths, and a petting zoo with pony rides. Come and join the crawfish eating contest and some of the best food South Louisiana cooks have to offer. All proceeds go to the Dreams Come True of Louisiana. See you there. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree and today we've got a really cool show for y'all. It's about crawfish. We're going to have the Dreams Come True South Louisiana Crawfish Ball and Queen catching crawfish. We're going to talk about crawfish. We're going to ball some crawfish. We're even going to talk about the crawfish festival. So we got some cool stuff coming up. We're going to eat some crawfish also. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking is fixing to start right about now. Tide line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens That's how we live and it sure feels fine Well you can't change us, that's the way we know Cajun people live like they did long ago So join the fun, live off the land Cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man Top line, trap line, sitting on a pipe I'm waiting for the sun to shine Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens That's how we live and it sure feels fine All right, y'all, I got some ladies here that's going to introduce themselves And they're going to be out in the pond catching some crawfish Here we go I'm Ryan Harrison I'm Chloe Ernest, the dreams come true South Louisiana Crawfish Boiling Festival Queen now, have y'all ever caught crawfish before? I have not. Never. <laughs> never. Never. So this is going to be pretty cool. Y'all going to be able to get out in the water and wade out there and get in the boat. And uh, do, do y'all actually eat crawfish? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, they talked about some of the other things that are in the water out here. Are y'all a little afraid of that? Or? Terrified. There are snakes and um, might just cry. I'm nervous about the snakes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I guess when the guy's walking around with a gun, you kind of think about it, you know, maybe. He said, I'm, he's here to protect y'all, though. So if we happen to have a snake or something, you know, we may find an eel in there. We may find a little fish in there. Uh, but, but here we go, y'all. We're fixing to get them in the boat, and we're fixing to get some crawfish going. <laughs> Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV. Pool tables. Golf darts and the new boat launch bar ladies night on wednesdays thursdays is open mic night karaoke on fridays with dj rocky live bands on saturday and sundays the giant river bar is air conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your christmas parties come out and enjoy a good time on the river when you're hungry and you need something quick to do join uncle larry stew and a few your day will be here in 20 minutes. Please help me, Uncle Larry. With stew and a few, any stew is possible. Just add the protein. Crawfish stew? You must have been in the kitchen all day. Marry me. When you're hungry and you need something quick to do, join Uncle Larry stew and a few. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. 
We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. Man, where'd you get those Mr. Beats from? There's the New Hunt and Fishing Store. New Hunt and Fishing Store? New Hunt and Fishing Store? New Hunt and Fishing Store? Yeah, on Highway 44 in Gonzales. It's Ascension Living and Outdoors. They carry a full line of fresh and saltwater baits and tackle, including Matrix, Voodoo Shrimp, Missile, Zoom, and local baits like Delta Lures and Humding. And the hunting section is loaded with calls, scents, knives, attractants, and much more. They even carry deer candy and Nate's buck bait. Oh yeah, ladies, there's even a gift shop. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites. Hall cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, I'm out here with the supervisor of the crawfish farm. And uh, let me get your name and where you're from. My name is Brent Duyon. I'm from Garyville, Louisiana. Um, I moved here uh, about 20 years ago, and uh, I now reside uh, not too far from where we're at. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, so not everybody knows about the pond stuff. Uh, let's talk about the pond. Uh, wh when do y'all drain the ponds? We drain them around uh, Mother's Day, and, um, and then you usually burn them and let, let nature take back over and let all the stuff become green again so the crawfish can have good vegetation. And, uh, and and get ready for the next time. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, uh, how many traps do you think y'all have out there? Right now, probably have about 350, somewhere around that. And I have more to put in. Um, it's just a pain just to get to all of them, you know. But if we put as many as we got and many as we can. And if we don't have enough, we'll make some more. Now, you, uh, you're you catching pretty good right now, are huh? you telling me? Right now, we, we're doing pretty good. Um, we we averaging uh, um, in the double digits, you know, so it's uh it's looking good this year. Gotcha, gotcha. What bait do y'all use in the traps? We use a uh, um. Let me grab a piece right here. All right. It's a pellet. Pellet bait. It, oh, look at that. It has um it has corn in it. It has a bunch of grain that um the crawfish uh get what they need from it. You know, it's a bunch of nutrients for them, and it's just a mixture of a whole bunch of stuff. And you can get it at your local feed store. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, uh, while you're out here doing crawfish and stuff, uh, what other animals do you have out here that you see? We have um, a lot of egrets, white white egrets. We have some gray herons. We have turtles, of course. Uh, not many fish in the pond. Every now and then you'll see some small ones. We do have bald eagles that come every now and then visit us, which is my favorite animal. And... Um, we have minks, we have coons, oh, you know, wow. just a variety of things. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, we're fixing to get geared up, and we're going to get these queens out here and catch some crawfish. Let's see how this goes. Yes, sir, no problem. All right, y'all, I got a couple facts about crawfish. Uh, Louisiana produces 100 million pounds of crawfish a year, and that's a lot of crawfish, y'all, which is big industry for jobs and people making their livelihood on it. But, uh... 80% of your crawfish is the red crawfish, which uh, we mostly have. It's called a swamp crawfish also. And the other 20% is a river crawfish called a white crawfish. Well, the river crawfish, uh, the, the, the red crawfish mature in April. And uh, they lay their eggs and they will have 250 babies per female. And that's a lot. Um, really really neat the, the the white crawfish which they don't want in their ponds they only lay 125 eggs per female so it's half as much so they don't want those in there they don't lay as many eggs but uh just a little tidbit for you there on crawfish it's uh mostly the red crawfish that we eat and we fix and eat some all right y'all want to talk about the crawfish holes that's in everybody's yard which is a little bit different crawfish than what we're catching out here today uh 
these you see everywhere and uh nobody really knows why they make it because nobody's talked to the crawfish um there is a couple theories though uh number one they make about a three foot tunnel in the ground and uh they have to get rid of the mud so they use their mouth and their legs to make pellets they call it and as you see it's different pellets that they bring up but you wonder why they do it you know but uh there, there's theories that if the crawfish was to go more than three feet away from their hole they would be vulnerable to predators who would come and scoop them up you know so uh if you walk up to a crawfish hole you never see them because as soon as you're walking up they see you and they sneak away and uh another theory that's out there is uh they'll kind of turn it one way where the wind blows in and gives the water oxygen because sometimes the oxygen gets depleted and uh maybe that's why they have them uh never pour anything into your crawfish hole uh it goes straight to our drinking water never pour anything with it the uh, most things you can do with crawfish hole is to stomp on them or rake them that's about all you can do uh you can go out at night whenever they're out there away from it and uh go creep them at night but uh i don't know it's it's, it's bad for our lawnmowers but uh it's pretty neat though the crawfish hole all right y'all we got our catch for the day they're bringing them in bringing them over to the the sacking machine we call it is it heavy <laughs> yes kind of heavy <laughs> was it fun y'all did y'all have a blast doing it it was so much fun now now uh did y'all learn anything yes we did what 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 y'all learn that they shed and that's how they grow and all that good kind of stuff gotcha. and you what you what you think you learned out there he on the showed, crawfish he showed us the male crawfish and he told us why they're different colors yeah Oh, wow. Let's see how good y'all did. Man, y'all got a mess in there. Would you do it again? Yes. Yeah? Yes. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to tell you what. It's been fun for me to come out to the pond and see these guys out here doing it. Uh, you do this every day, right? Uh, pretty much four times a week, uh, depending on where the customers want, I guess. Now, what's your name? Journey. How long you been crawfishing? About two three years wow and and you love to come out here and do it yes sir and you always catching eels and all that stuff sometimes gotcha gotcha now uh if somebody wants to get these crawfish for, from here this is a sweeter crawfish because they're using water well water into the crawfish and uh once you've had these it's really really amazing uh now we're gonna put the number on the bottom of the screen down here that you'll be able to call in and get some. Um, are you through for the day? Uh, besides picking up and cleaning up because I like to pick up my trash and stuff like that, yes, sir, I'm ready for a cold brew. I got you. Hey, let's uh, sack it up for these girls and uh, let's see what we get. No problem. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Sign up now for our March cooking classes, Saturday, March 28th at Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking. The first class will be Cajun style. The menu items are jambalaya, pork ribs, gumbo, pastalaya, and steak. That's right, all five dishes taught in one class. Come on out for a half a day class and learn to cook and pass on our heritage to family and friends. Sign up at Galvez Hardware. Spaces are limited.
watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. We got the potatoes, corn, and hot dogs done, and uh, they're really good. But uh, when you add Uncle Larry's seasoning, and y'all y'all wanting to taste it, huh? Put put your little on there and try that. They're good by themselves, but when you add some Uncle Larry's on there, it gets a little bit better. Now I know y'all just practicing up a little bit for the potatoes and corn, but y'all ready for the crawfish, right? 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 Oh. Uh, Uncle Larry, that's good stuff. That's, that's good. You don't know too much about that, but uh, you will have it in your cabinet from now on, I'm sure. That's good. It's very good. It's very good. You can tell everybody at Southeastern where you got it. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got crawfish soaking. We're fixing to dump some crawfish, so here we go. All right, y'all, we've been eating some crawfish, and uh, we got some more soaking. But uh, I got some royalty here I want y'all to meet. Let's get their names and where are they from? I'm Hannah Catherine Gaytre. I'm the 2019 Miss Livingston Parish Fair Queen. I'm Chloe Ernest, and I'm your dreams come true, South Louisiana Crawfish Boiling Queen. Now, uh, y'all been knowing each other a, a little while, huh? Yes, sir. We've been knowing each other since preschool. Wow, wow. So, so you're going to go to her festival, and, and, yes. and she's going to come mm -hmm. to your festival. For sure. Gotcha, gotcha. What would y'all want to tell everybody out there about y'all's festivals coming up? We have the best chicken on a stick around. Just come on out every second week in October to the Livingston Parish Fairgrounds and have a good time. We're going to have a craft show. We're going to have a car show. We're going to have a lot of good food. And, of course, we're going to have crawfish. You have it right there, y'all. We're fixing to eat some more crawfish, too. <laughs> All right, y'all. we got a really neat guest here today, uh, Miss Freddie Smith, who is the director and the treasurer of Dreams Come True. Am I correct? Absolutely. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming out to our event. We are, I am Freddie Smith, as he said. I'm with Dreams Come True. If you're not familiar with Dreams Come True, we do uh, we grant dreams to children, Louisiana children, between the ages of 3 to 18 that have a life-threatening illness. So all the proceeds from the Crawfish Festival will go to help that and help us grant these and help our children in Louisiana. Now, uh, how can people get in touch with us, say, vendors and cooks and stuff like that? We do have a Facebook page. We have a uh, website. It's dctcrawfishfestival.com. So go on there. It gives you all the details. Or you can call Rodney or myself. Yeah, and we'll have that right across the screen right here on the bottom. So uh, it's going to be a good day. So you don't want to miss it. No. All right, y'all. Me and Chloe's going to show y'all some of the things we have at the Crawfish Festival. And there's so many things. So we're going to run down with it and give y'all a visual of what we got going. We got craft booths coming up. We got probably have 150 craft booths. Car show, they're usually close to 100 cars. Uh, we got pony rides for the kids. We have a silent auction when you need to come bid on that. And also the kids inflatables, the pet and zoo, the kids love that. Big boy toys, all kind of ATVs and really, really neat stuff for the kids. And, uh, it's something that, all right, go ahead and move that for us for the next one. Let's see what we got up here. We got so many cards. All right, y'all. The crawfish eating contest, really, really fun. We have uh, cornhole contest. It's really, really big. It's the bean bag that you throw out. The celebrity eating contest. We got this new this year, and we're going to have some celebrities eating and vying for number one in eating. Uh, the queens from all over Louisiana is going to be coming to be a part of our festival. And any queens that are seeing this, y'all give us a call. We'll have the number on the bottom of the screen if y'all want to come to the festival. Uh, we've got some celebrity judges on the crawfish. And we're going to have powered, powered parachutes out there, which is really, really neat. Uh, the kids can come out and check them out and see them. All right, some of the contests we have now. It's the crawfish balling contest. We have the jambalaya cooking contest. We have the crackling cooking contest. The mini pot contest. This year, we have a steak cook-off now. And also, it's going to be a Bloody Mary contest. And we have a one-bite challenge. And you get into that, and it's for the judges. But it's got to have crawfish in it. And there will be T-shirts also for everybody out there. Plenty of shirts. We've got plenty to show. Are you going to get one of the T-shirts? Yes. <laughs> All right. Some of the neat people we got is uh, Ashton Gill, who's uh, from American Idol, season two. Uh, Nana Shah, and they jam, y'all. That 70s band, guess what they play? 70s. Really good. And the Chris LeBlanc band, who, uh, with Zydeco Mike, uh, Chris LeBlanc was actually inducted into the Louisiana Hall of Fame. And uh, we may have another stage with a whole bunch of other bands back there also. And now our favorite part, the food of... Uh, what do you think you're going to eat at the Crawfish Festival? Crawfish. We knew it. We knew it. All right. We're going to have ball crawfish. We're going to have jambalaya. We're going to have Uncle Larry stewing a few. 
We have cracklings in a bag that's going to be cooked out there. We also have hamburgers, sweet booth, kettle corn, and so much. I'd need a list to go all the way down to here with so many things we're going to have. So uh, tell them when it's going to be. April 25th. I want to see you there. All right, uh, let me get your name. Winston Boy Speaks. Now, do you like crawfish? Yeah. Now, let me see if you can eat one. Looks like you really do like crawfish. That's pretty good. Can you eat a bunch of crawfish? How much crawfish do you think you can eat? A uh, hundred pounds? At least. Huh? That's what I think, too. Can you eat crawfish, too? Crawfish. Crawfish? All right, I got you to say something. All right, well, thank you all for uh, eating some crawfish with me. All right, y'all made it over, and uh, I see you got some dip. Uh, it, and, and a lot of people say dip or no dip, so you, you're, you're dip. I like the dip. What do you like in it? I have some ketchup, mayo, um, hot sauce, and Tony's. It sounds really good. It is. Let's see how you dip them. <laughs> do you use the dip? No dip. I think they're fine, just as they are. Straight crawfish. That's straight crawfish over here. Either way, but... Right, right. If you don't have dip, you're still going to eat the crawfish? Yeah. That's what I thought. Y'all keep on going. Y'all doing a good job. <laughs> dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information, dctofla.com. Can you ball crawfish, cook jambalaya, steaks, or cracklings? Well, you need to get out to the Dreams Come True South Louisiana Crawfish Festival for all the cook-offs. It's April the 25th at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Music for all ages with a car show, craft booths, and a petting zoo with pony rides. Come and join the crawfish eating contest and some of the best food South Louisiana cooks have to offer. All proceeds go to the Dreams Come True of Louisiana. See you there. Whiskey River, take my mind. Don't let a memory torture me. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites, hog cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays, Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Sign up now for our March cooking classes. Saturday, March 28th at Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking. The first class will be Cajun style. The menu items are jambalaya, pork ribs, gumbo, pastalaya, and steak. That's right, all five dishes taught in one class. Come on out for a half a day class and learn to cook and pass on our heritage to family and friends. Sign up at Galvez Hardware. Spaces are limited. <laughs> Cajun living and cooking. I 
flat line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Squirrel, deer, gator, and hogs Twelve-gauge shotgun and some rabbit dogs Staying at the camp six days straight Coming home to mama sure feels great Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know Cajun people live like they did long ago So join the fun, live off the land Cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man the lake on a hot summer day, working in the fields, bailing hay, cooking up some turtle sauce, be calm, jitterbug dance until your feet turn raw. Well, you can't change us, it's the way we know, Cajun people live like they did long ago, so join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Travel line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. All right, y'all, we had a good time today. It was, uh, you had a good time? I had a good time. This is my favorite thing to do on Sundays ball and crawfish. Well, I, I can't believe you ate that many. It's been a long day of eating crawfish, but I think I'm finally done. <laughs> finally did it, y'all. Hey, I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today.